I've always seen the Triumph Speed Triple as being one of the slower, heavier, and uglier of the Super Nakeds. But you know what? Triumph flipped the script and came out with the all new 2021 Triumph Speed Triple 1200 RS that is better than ever. More powerful, lighter weight, move over KTM Super Duke. We got a new player in town. Let's go for a ride. Oh, no. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today i've always heard great things about the triumph speed triple and street triple but i can never bring myself to buy one because i never liked the double barrel bug-eyed ugly headlights but on this new 2021 speed triple they're still a bit ugly but they did add these daytime running light slivers above the light to stay on and makes it look kind of cool gives it some style but imagine what the bike could look like with a more stylish led single headlight as seen on this older speed triple wow now that looks cool however i'll tell you the tail light on this bike looks epic i mean everywhere else on this bike looks fantastic except for the headlights the lines flow really nice on this bike, but I'll tell you, once you throw a leg over the bike, the looks don't matter anymore, man. And besides, I ride a Yamaha MT-09, which is perhaps one of the ugliest bikes out there. I think this bike is better looking than my MT-09, but you know what? The performance on this new 2021 Speed Triple is absolutely amazing what they've done with this bike. To start it off, it has an epic all new 1160cc triple cylinder engine that replaces the 1050 triple that was on the previous model. So it's now pumping out 176 horsepower and 92 pounds feet of torque. That's 29 more horsepower and six pounds feet of torque more. And the new motor spins more quickly with 12% less inertia than the 1050. So now you got power all throughout the rev range. And this new engine has made it to a new compact and smoother shifting six speed transmission with an up and down quick shifter for those lightning fast shifts. Yeah. But check this out, even better, they managed to reduce the weight on this bike by 22 pounds. The bike now weighs 437 pounds, dude. Thanks to a new cast aluminum frame and lighter weight wheels and other lightweight components on this bike. And check this out. They did this without reducing the fuel tank capacity. So it has a nice 4.1 gallon tank and they say this bike gets 50 miles per gallon. That is pretty sick. And this bike has many other awesome features such as Brembo monoblock style lima calipers up front, two piston Brembo calipers in the back fully adjustable premium o-lean suspension for the fork and shock lithium ion battery cruise control it's wired for heated crypts that you can add keyless it has a keyless fuel cap check this out it's got a new amazing five inch tft screen with two display themes where you can modify within the theme and you can add the my triumph app that allows a smartphone to communicate with this display which allows you to control music phone the gopro uh, even turn by turn navigation now i know you're going to ask me cycle cruiser what electronic rider aids does this bike have you're talking about somebody that loves and rides a supermoto that has none of this stuff and i could care less about electronic rider aids but i will tell you the electronic rider aids on these new bikes are getting better and better and less intrusive but there to help you keep from having a real effed up day as far as electronic rider aids on this bike it has two levels of abs intervention for road and track and they can be adjustable independent of the rider modes it has four levels of traction control for track sport road and rain and wheelie control is integrated in traction control and it has four preset riding modes for track sport road and rain and each parameter within the four riding modes can be changed on the fly and each rider mode can be tailored from scratch to fit your needs and full power is available in all the rider modes 
except for rain mode. Rain mode reduces the power to 98 horsepower. As far as some other really cool changes they made to this bike, they widened the handlebars by a half inch and they moved the foot pegs inward a bit for more cornering clearance without compromising leg room. As far as the rake on this bike, it's been stretched out by one degree and the trail has increased by a half inch for more stable geometry. And this bike has been fitted with Metzler Race Tech Double R tires for excellent street performance. And get this, this bike has a more comfortable seat. Also, I forgot to mention, it has self-canceling turn signals, which is great for me because I always forget to turn my turn signals off. By the way, this bike comes in sapphire black, which looks pretty cool, but it also comes in matte silver ice, which looks the best to me. If I were to get this bike, it would be this color, guys. <laughs> Uh, comes with a two-year warranty and priced at $18,300, which is pretty steep for a cheapo like me. But you're getting a lot of bang for your buck for this price. And it's priced similarly to the KTM 1290 Super Duke R. So tell me, guys, which bike would you get? Would you get the new KTM 1290 Super Duke R or would you get this bike, the new Speed Triple? Honestly... I like this Speed Triple better because it's lighter weight. It's only 437 pounds compared to the Super Duke at 466 pounds. That's a 26 pound difference, which is a lot. Uh, but the KTM gets 180 horsepower, 103 pounds feet of torque, which is just four more horsepower, but 11 pounds feet more torque. And I'm all about that torque. So I don't know, but then you got the extra 26 pounds on the KTM. So I don't know which one would you get? Which one you think looks better? I think the Speed Triple looks much better than the KTM, but the KTM looks kind of cool to me. You know, it's kind of grown on me now. Um, they look very unique and different, uh, but I would have to say the Speed Triple. I don't know, man. It's going to be a tough choice because, you know, I'm all about that torque and KTM is all about that torque. Um, but honestly, I trust Triumph's reliability more and their warranty a lot better than KTM. Uh, but I don't know. I, I'd be cool with either bike, but I would love to hear your feedback and see what you guys think. But anyways, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my All in One Motorcycle channel and check out my other channel, Book Out Moto. Deuces. Hit thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.